Welcome to the New Earth Christian Church. Welcome to the New Earth Christian Church. Welcome to the New Earth Christian Church. It's where we are. Worship praises. Good morning, fam. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is truly good to be among you. And thank you, Pastor Larry, for trusting me yet one more time to minister to the people. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for for allowing us this time to come before your presence. Yes. yes. We thank you, oh Heavenly Father, that you have given us the privilege to be in your presence. Yes. yes, Lord. And as we start this season of Lent, Lord, we ask that your presence will be what we seek. Yes. The entire time. But even greater than that, that we will seek your presence more regularly. Amen. Yes. 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 Thank you, Lord. And we praise you. In Jesus' most magnificent name, amen. 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 Wow, wow, wow. Tell you always choose most appropriate songs. Uh, (laughs) Thank you for the ministry before the word. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, So today is the first Sunday of Lent. Mm -hmm. Um, And Lent is the 40-day period where Christians remember the events leading up to and including the death of Jesus the Christ, whose life and teachings are the foundation of Christianity. In my observance, I have uh, heard people reference the Lent season as, oh my goodness, what am I going to give up? (laughs) Uh, And they come up with meat and sweets and soda and social media. And in many, many cases, it's the same thing that they gave up the year before. (laughs) Many people recognize that Ash Wednesday, oh my goodness, I need to get my ashes. And they don't even remember what the ashes represent. (laughs) And and traditionally the ashes being burned on Ash Wednesday and placed upon the forehead and put in the formation of a cross should have been the ashes from last Palm Sunday. You know, when when they gave us the palms and they made it into a little cross and some of us put it on our wall, some of us put it in our Bible, some of us left it in the car and still don't know where it is. (laughs) But it is those those palms that traditionally are burned and used as a remembering symbol of the journey that we are about to take with Jesus Christ. Yes. Some people, you know, they're all into Fat Tuesday. Hey, let's eat, drink, and be merry because tomorrow we can't do it anymore. <laughs> uh, but because we're going to enter into a dry season. But the real focus of Lent should be on developing a closer relationship with Jesus. Talking about, I want more. Amen. Sacrifice should be should have two perspectives to do something is is that sacrifice to get to know jesus better and when you do or do not do these things whatever it is because something some people want to do something as a sacrifice and some people want to stop doing things as a sacrifice but mm-hmm. whatever it is trade the time or the, the the time that you spend thinking about that thing with prayer amen with studying the word with yeah. listening to gospel music. Yes. These are the things that will help you grow in Christ and sh- share Christ with someone. When you think about, oh my goodness, I, you know, I, I'm so, supposed to not be eating sweets. Well, instead of eating that sweet, why don't you pick up the phone or send a text message to someone that brings Christ into their life? Yes. You know, have conversations about the goodness of God instead of, Oh my goodness, you know, it's Lent and I gave up this and I'm not supposed to be on social media and I've got the social media itch. Put those things down and pick up Jesus. 
Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of attention given to Christmas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's a good thing. But rather, we, we really need to put equally amount of time on the life and death and the resurrection because without the death, there'd be no salvation. Amen. Amen. Christmas is equally as important because he had to be born. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, but let's not rush to the resurrection because that is not today. We got 40 more days for that. Amen. Uh, this Amen. holy city, in this holy season, uh, it's about remembering the sacrifices that Jesus made for you. Yes. And for me. Yes. It's not, Jesus is not a historical character in the Bible. Jesus lives today. Yes. He is yes. the son yes. of the living God. In John 1 mm -hmm. and 1, it says, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was uh, God. Yes, amen. So in yes. our essence, Jesus was before was was. Mm -hmm. All right. He was amen. always here. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus did for you what he came, he voluntarily yes. came down from heaven. Mm -hmm. He was conceived and was born putting on a earthly body. Mm -hmm. He prepared for ministry as he sat at the foot of the, uh, at the, among the, the, the religious leaders. Mm -hmm. You know, remember when his mother and his father couldn't find him as they were on their way back, mm -hmm. <laughs> back home. And somebody said, well, how could Jesus possibly get lost? <laughs> well, I'll tell you how he got lost. You know, there was a group of people. Wow. All of no, they all knew each other. They were traveling on their way back home. Mm -hmm. So Mary probably said he's with his father. Right. And Joseph probably said he's with his with mother. His <laughs> uh -huh. And how easy it, it was. Or maybe he was just with his friends. Maybe mm -hmm. or not. Jesus had to have some friends when he was a little kid. Right. Yes. Right. But he he was not in either of those places. He was among the leaders, the religious leaders, yeah. listening and preparing for ministry. Yes. Yes. Amen. Jesus, Amen. Um, he, he was also he also came so that he can be he can serve, not mm -hmm. to be served. And it's so amazing on how we as believers, those of us who have accepted Christ and have begun to do the work of the Lord, how often we we get mixed up sometimes and, and we want to know how come somebody didn't do something for us. Okay. Mm -hmm. But Jesus came to serve. Yes. Yes. He yes. came to and we are to be examples of that. Yes. So we get in our feelings sometimes, but we should quickly come back to that mm -hmm. servant attitude. Yeah. yeah. Like coming to earth, he volunteered to redeem us from our sin. Mm -hmm. that's right right that right there should be enough mm -hmm. yeah. just to want to get to know him better yes amen. one of the amen. greatest components of him coming to earth is he never stopped being god yeah. amen and he never once lost his god powers mm -hmm. amen. amen have you ever heard of photo let me see if i can get this word right I had to do a little study Photothropism. Mm -hmm. Well, it is the survival mechanism in which a plant grows towards the greatest source of light in effort to jumpstart the process of photosynthesis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If, if, if you could picture the Leaning Tower of Pisa, mm -hmm. only it's a plant, okay? In its elongation of the plant cells towards its source of energy, this reach for the sun it is initiated by a plant's hormones that regulates growth. Okay. Okay. This internal orientation towards the light makes it possible for a plant to thrive even in adverse conditions. That's right. That's right. <laughs> right. Amen. Our measure of spiritual growth is entirely dependent upon our exposure to Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Make it plain. The plant needs the S-U-N to initiate the process of photosynthesis for its survival and growth. We need Jesus, the S-O-N, oh, yeah. All right. to our Amen. renewal and Say our it. restoration. Say it. Nothing Amen. green can grow in a cave because of lack of sunlight. 
and nothing spiritual significance can be birthed without us first, or uh, without the illumination of God's Son. Yes, amen. Amen. Therefore, amen. the measure of our spiritual growth, depending during Lent or any other time of the year, is dependent upon position. Yes. We are positioned amen. under the S O N to take. In to take in the presence of Jesus, or, or for us to either take in the presence of Jesus or not, but we must be positioned. Amen. And with Amen. that said, Nick can leave us weary and worn, just like mm -hmm. a failed New Year's resolution. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. often make feeble efforts to fast during the season of repentance and fail miserably. Mm -hmm. Why? Because our focus in Lent becomes a material sacrifice that we've never intended to make. Mm. All right. Come on, preacher. What God desires is a different kind of sacrifice. All right. The sacrifice of a broken spirit, mm. of a broken and contrite heart. And that comes from Psalms 51 and 17. It is not simply enough to lean towards the light in the season of Lent orientate ourselves towards Jesus to position ourselves so that we will soak up his presence and take in his spiritual nutrients. Yes. Yeah. Uh, spiritual Amen. Growth ain't no joke. Amen. 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 If you get a chance to, to listen to this song, there's a song called Broken yeah. mm -hmm. by Shekinah Glory Ministries. Mm -hmm. yes. And that song yes. talks about what it is that we should be doing. Yes. It's a song that talks about the ministry of an individual who was a total blessing to God's people. Mm -hmm. And in that song, um, they, uh, you could tell that the anointing was so present in this person's life that they only saw God. They didn't see the ministering person. Okay. And that's the goal when you're ministering God's word is that they see God and not yes. you. Yes. Right, right, right. Amen. Amen. Then the song goes on and talks about the person being broken. And, and the person recognizes that they really need Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then it the song wraps up because the song says, Jesus says, I've got you where I need you. Well, yeah. Well, ah, uh, all right. Well, you need me. That you realize that you are broken well, and that you need me. Now we're going back to where it, what it used to be. It was just you and me. Well, yes, and yes. that is that season that brings us back to the place to help us to focus on our relationship with Jesus. Yes, and even more for what Praise He has God. done for us. Amen. Amen. And, Amen. And let us um, look at a couple of individuals who had flaws. These, these individuals, they have flaws just like us. That's right. The moment mm -hmm. that we had our skeptic, like Nicodemus, mm -hmm. he came out of John 3, 1 through 17. There was an outsider, like mm -hmm. this Samaritan woman who comes out of John 4, 5 through 42. There was a the physically broken, like the blind man. This mm -hmm. story is in John 9, 1 mm -hmm. through 41. Mm -hmm. And the lost in the darkness and the gloom of death itself, like Lazarus in okay. John 11, yeah. 1 through 45. Well, these four individual stories are surrounded by two stories of Jesus in, his, in our own full presence in the light of God the Father. Found in these stories are the temptation in the wilderness, which is our text today, and also the passion, hmm. which is in Matthew 26, 14 through 27. And so it brings us to our text. <laughs> Matthew 4, verses 1 through 11. Let's take a, a, a look at what happened here. Then Jesus was led by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was led, everybody. Pay attention. Yes. He didn't go on his own recognizance. <laughs> he was led. And in my spiritual imagination, I see the Holy Spirit just kind of taking him by the hand. Like, all right, Jesus, come on. We have something to do today. Yes. And they just walked 
into the wilderness for the purpose of being tempted by the devil. Mm -hmm. yes. And after Amen. fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. Yes. And some of us can't get to two or three days and we feel like we're sleeping. Two or three hours. 40 mm -hmm. days and 40 nights. Mm -hmm. So complete days, mm -hmm. complete <clears throat> nights. So it wasn't until the 41st day he would have mm -hmm be able to have something to eat. But let's talk about the beside Barbara just a moment. When you come off of a fast, you know, I always have to put my health note in there. Don't yes. start <laughs> eating steaks and beef and all this heavy stuff. Ease back into what mm -hmm. you need to be eating. And hopefully that fast would have brought you back to a healthier perspective of eating. Yes. Amen. 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 But verse three, the tempter came and said to him, if you are the son of God, well, tell these stones to become bread. <laughs> now, that just really goes to show you that the enemy knows who he is. Yes. <laughs> he says, oh, all right, all right, you say, you say you're the son of God, come on, turn these stones into bread. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any uh, tempt us uh, like that. Just, yes. it's just right there, just all up in your face. You, you think you something, you think you bad, do this. Right. Yeah. Uh, yes. And Jesus answered him, it is written, it's written. <laughs> man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Yes. Amen. So therefore, in order for us to stand, mm. we need to have the word of God yes. inside yes. us. Yes. The scripture yes. says, thy word I have hidden in my heart that I might not yes. say against it. And you don't have to Amen. know the whole Bible. You don't have to know the scripture that the person next to you knows. You need That's to know right. the scripture for your life. Yes. For your the yeah. one that you can stand on. The one that you Amen. can remember. Yes. <laughs> and if all of this is Jesus, then nothing he left and he kept just for you. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 Uh, and then the devil took him to a holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the son of God, throw yourself down. <laughs> for it is written he will command his angels concerning you and they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone surely there are angels all around mm -hmm. and they're not going to let anything happen to Jesus mm -hmm. but why but clearly you can see that the enemy knows who he is yes yes, and, yes. Jesus and, he, and he answers him it is written do not put the lord your god to the test yes. mm -hmm. now, there, there are times where we want to you know like lord are you really telling me to do this now that's yes, a different kind of test mm -hmm. uh, if you want to challenge him for who he is and his power you on the wrong trip amen the wrong trip. amen right. <clears throat> And again, the devil took him to a very yeah. high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their spe splendor. All this I will give to you. How about it already was his? Yes. I will give to you <laughs> if you Amen. will come and bow down and worship me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, away from me, <laughs> Satan, <laughs> for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> then the devil left him. The mm -hmm. angels came and, and attended him. And in another, another version of the Bible, it says that the le devil left him for an opportune time, which means he'll be back. Be back. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's take a look at, at something that doesn't normally get talked about in this scripture. <laughs> the Holy Spirit led Jesus to the wilderness. Mm -hmm. And then the enemy took him to a holy city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then he took him to a high, a very high mountain. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
closer to glory the enemy gets, he cannot stay. Oh, amen. He left. Come on and now. Say, okay, I can't win from here. He was gone. I'm out of here. Deuces. I, I got the belt. All right. The All devil right. left him for another time because Jesus kept going higher and higher and higher. Right. One of the other things that I noticed in this text is that I never saw the Holy Spirit leave him. Well, amen. The amen. Whole, I'm imagining in my spiritual imagination. <laughs> That the Holy Spirit was with him all the way. He yes. did not lead him into the wilderness and say, be back in an hour. Right, <laughs> right. Amen. Yeah. I believe he stayed there with Jesus through all of it. Yes. And yes. Don't, don't forget, Jesus is the word. Yes. And the right. word has always been with us. He is yeah. the, the one of the three parts of the Trinity. Yes. God is with us. He is with us. And so therefore, as we um, look at the things that Jesus has done, we recognize that suffering and trials are as much a part of God's plan as they are the thrills and the triumphs. Mm -hmm. Jesus was led into the wilderness to be tempted. There was no accident or evil uh, fate but a divine appointment. Yes. The temptation has its place in the world, for we could never develop our faith without it. Well, mm -hmm. There Amen. is nothing wrong with being tempted. The wrong begins when we begin to consent to it. All right. Amen. Uh, Amen. Amen. We are not to run to, to temptation, or to seek it out on our own accord. Jesus did not go into the wilderness to be tempted of himself, but was led there by the spirit. And you will find that the path of the duty will take you through temptation. But as Paul states, no temptation will overtake us through, um, except that you, nothing that is common to man. And God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond Amen. what you can bear. Amen. 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 Ah, but we often say, Lord, how much more can I take? Mm. No, that's right. As long as you stay connected to him, you stay positioned under the sun, the S-O-N. Yes. He will give you the strength to do what you need to do. Yes. And when you are tempted, you will also be provided a way of escape. Yes. That you might yes, be yes. able to endure it. Yes. So how can we experience this Lent year? Remember, it's not about you. Well, mm -hmm. yes, yes. It's about remembering what Jesus has done for you. Yes. Amen. In position like the plant under the sun, the S U N, you stand under the S O N. All right. Say it. You know who you are, a believer and a follower of Jesus Christ. Because he was tempted. You when you are tempted, you will be able to stand. Amen. And what you will stand on is the word. Yes. The w, yes. capital W, capital O, capital R, capital D. Oh, right, all and, right. And, and, you know, yeah. and I couldn't keep saying this as, as I was reviewing this in my study. I kept saying, word up. Okay. <laughs> word up. You know, Jesus is up. Keep the word up. Oh, yes. Amen. Up Amen. To the word. Amen. Lent is about spiritual growth as we get and stay in his presence. God bless you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Rhonda. As always, Amen. as always, she gives us the words. She gives us practical ways to live up to whom we say that we are. And Welcome to the New Earth Christian Church. Welcome to the New Earth Christian Church. Welcome to the new